I think for us, I mean, it's obviously been a lot of noise outside of the walls of the football house. I think, I mean, to me and to a lot of other guys, it's been a normal week. Um, uh, you know, uh, you know, we're, we're all trying to shift our focus on the right things, focus on the right things, and to, to us, that's just keeping the keeping it consistent. And that normality of the whole entire season had to fall into that. So yeah, I do believe so. Sorry, can you say that again? Um, I wouldn't say different. I mean, there obviously been changes, but I wouldn't say it feels any different to anybody on the team. Um, I think that most of the guys on the team, if not all, have a primary focus, and that's to win games. And so I think that saying that anyone would feel different would mean that we were feeding into all the negative energy that was coming, um, or positive even, but all the energy that we didn't need to be focused about coming from outside um, you know, our program. Uh, just stick to the plan, stick, stick, um, stay the course, you know, tunnel vision. I mean, that's the main thing. Like, I mean, with situations like this, which is a uh, very uh, um, uncommon but, or, or rare, but it happens in college football with situations like these. I mean, it, it, the, the, the quickest way that a program can deteriorate is if, you know, you know people start focusing on the wrong things. And, and so I think the, the, like the biggest message is to stay in the course and, and you know, like tr trusting in the coaches and trusting in, you know, the, the process and the plan. And that, that, that's to, you know, make it to Saturday, have a good work week and win games. Can you talk about the job that Coach Cannon has done, given that he came in here not even knowing a lot of the defensive guys' names and yeah. he's done to hold this thing together? He's done a good job at that. You know, he 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 took he took along the um, the leadership role um, head on and, and didn't hesitate. And you know, I, I appreciate him for that. And you know, I, I think that like his his biggest thing was which is what I'm kind of harping on right now was keeping everybody together and keeping everyone focused on the right things. And he's done a tremendous job at you know uh, relaying that message week to week. And so and and and, that, and that's as an older guy, that's all I can ask of anyone that's stepping into a leadership position such as he had to. And so. Um, I, I think that, uh, I mean, as, as far as obviously he's an offensive guy, as far as that goes, I mean, you know, that's that's just kind of more so on us to just kind of, you know, reel up the helm and make sure everybody's doing what they're, supposed to, what they're supposed to do and what we have to do to win. So while you might think of technology as being secondary to your core business, the reality is that without it, many companies would find themselves at a complete standstill. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. We'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and the full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. I mean, I, I think we've handled it in the best way we possibly can. I think, um, like I said, I mean, I, like I'm, I'm an older guy on this team. Like I've, I've gone through a ton of changes. Um, not only s stuff like this. I mean, I've, I've had head coaches leave midseason before. I've had, I've gone through at least five, six position coaches, like three, four defensive coordinators. Like you know, it's, it's like these things happen. And a lot, what a lot of the younger guys have to understand is that, you know, when things like this happen, it's, it's, it's on us at that point to, to really show our maturity and show our resolve in order to, you know, progress through the season with all the turmoil. And so, you know, and I, and I think we've done a tremendous job of that thus far. Do you feel like Coach Durkin deserved to stay? Um, I, that's, you know, that that's people, everyone has their opinions. I, I don't feel comfortable sharing mine on that. I mean, it's like people made decisions. It is what it is. And, you know, we just have to keep moving forward. And so, you know, I mean, I, I, I can't I can't change what happened. And you know my opinion doesn't really matter on it either, and so that you know it's just we're just staying the course right now, focusing on winning. How have you dealt with maybe different opinions on the team about that? Sorry, say it again. You have your opinion on it. Mm -hmm. You guys have their opinion on it. How mm -hmm. have you as a team dealt with maybe different opinions on that? I mean, the the, the quick, best way to deal with different opinions is is just to to talk about them amongst ourselves and not and not make that public. 
And you know, you know, everyone can have their different opinions, but at the end of the day, like we have a primary focus, and that's winning games. Like I've said, so you know, like just dealing with the opinions on the team. Like what I know, what I've known growing up is that everyone's entitled to their own own opinion, and no one's ever right or wrong in their own opinion. So what I what I just I I, I love listening to people. So like I'll, if a younger guy has an opinion they want to share, like I'll listen to it. I'll join in on the conversation. But at the end of the day, like the conversation ends there. And then when we're on the field, when we're in meetings, when we're in practice, like when we're playing games, like. The primary focus is playing the game, winning, staying the course. So that's all that matters. How are you getting the importance of getting to a bowl game? How are you getting that across to the younger players? Oh, I mean, they, they, they know they know just as well as I do the importance of that. I mean, that's that's just at that point, that's just hunkering down and really now now really focusing on on what we need to do to win. And you know, like they everyone here wants to go bowling. Everyone here wants to, you know, have that 13th game and the uh, 13th game of the season. And so and that's. That's what I really feel like us as older guys have really harped on um, during the week, and the coaches have really harped on during the week. And like now, more than anything, really, if we need to stay the focus, if we, if we need to stay the course and, and you know, maintain our focus, now is the most important time because I mean, it's the biggest game of the season because it's the next one. But at the same time, we're, we you know we have things to accomplish. Like we want we want to we want to make it to a bowl game. We want to win the rest of the season, and, and by just focusing on what we need to be focusing on, which is winning and, and playing the games, and, and you know distra- uh, dispelling all the outside noise, and, and that's what we need to do, and that's what we're doing.